This is actually a thing. Tie dye. Today we're going to talk about tie dye. Must have moment is a time where we talk about trends, all those trends we're seeing on the runways and on our favorite celebrities, and whether or not and how we can wear them. So if you haven't already seen it popping up all over your Instagram, tie dye is a huge trend. We have been seeing this trend all over the runways for spring. Proenza, Stella McCartney, Prada, all showing tons and tons of tie dyed looks. Not just the throwback tie dye t-shirt, but also applying tie dye to jackets, boiler suits, jumpsuits, denim, all sorts of different things. Tie dye is one of those trends that we see on the runway and almost immediately start seeing on the street and on our favorite it girls because it's so easy to wear and it's actually really accessible. That's what I want to talk about today and show you guys some options. So I'm wearing some tie dye just to get in the mood. Obviously the very first thing we can talk about is a tie dye t-shirt. Tie dye tees are super easy to find. They're gonna be all over the place. You'll be able to find them from anything from $10 to $100. And the thing I like about them, it's just a nice update to your basic tee. So instead of throwing on a white t-shirt for spring, try something in tie dye. It will work underneath a blazer, underneath a leather jacket, by itself, with a skirt. Really, you could wear this anywhere. Another thing I love about this trend is that it's really great for any body type. We're literally talking about a t-shirt. It's not like, I'm not gonna look good in that. It, you can look good in anything. It's, it's a t-shirt, it's so easy. Um, this is actually a designer version, so this is Proenza. And honestly, you can't even really tell the difference between the Proenza version, which is probably several hundred dollars, and something like this, which is far less. So even the designer versions of these things, when you're talking about something as simple as a t-shirt, the quality might be better, but it's really, you're not losing anything by not buying the expensive version of a trend like this. I also like when designers and brands do a trend in an unexpected piece like this. This is a full trench coat, but it's actually really lightweight. It feels more like a shirt. So this is a wonderful transition piece. I would also wear this as a dress. I would throw a belt over this and absolutely wear it as a dress. You could wear it in multiple different ways, over jeans, as a coat, kind of fun. Another very subtle way I'm seeing tie-dye being done is more like an ombre. So something like this is super subtle and really pretty where the color sort of starts more vibrant at the top or at the bottom of a piece and lightens at the bottom. So it's not exactly tie-dye, but it's still in the same vein of the trend. A little easier to wear if you don't like so much busyness, but really fun and bright. So on the must-have meter, I'm gonna go ahead and give the trend of tie-dye a four. I'm gonna give it a four because of its wearability and because it's, it can be inexpensive, you can absolutely find a vintage t-shirt for 10 bucks and feel totally on trend for spring without really having to spend that much. Plus, when you're done with it, it's not like you invested a ton of money and we can just move on. And I think that's the most important thing about trends, especially if it's a very bold, specific trend to a time period. Once it's over, you don't wanna have invested a ton of money uh, into building these pieces into your wardrobe. So you can just let it go. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to ET Style. There'll be a lot more analysis on trends, beauty tutorials, and styling videos for you there.